So methane, CH4. And this cow is not thinking about methane. I try to illustrate that this cow is burping methane. 95% of all the methane from a cow is actually coming out via the burps. And the reason for burping is that the cow is a ruminant. It has four stomachs. The first one is also the biggest of them, and it's the rumen. It's not similar to our stomach at all, and you will know why in a short. In the rumen, a lot of microorganisms live in oxygen-free condition, where they help to digest the plant material that the cow eats, and we cannot eat that because we don't have that rumen. So the microorganisms, they provide energy for the cow, and the cow provides a home for the microorganisms. So this is a really nice symbiosis. But where does the methane then come into the picture? Well, in the rumen we have good guys and bad guys. The good guys are those microbes I just told you about. And they produce hydrogen as a waste product of all their processes. Hydrogen is not toxic as such, but if it accumulates in the rumen, the fermentation processes will stop. And here the bad guys enter the picture. The bad guys, they take hydrogen and carbon dioxide and forms methane. And remember that methane is 84 times stronger greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide is. That's why we care about methane. So in this study, we fed two different ways to reduce methane. We fed fat and we fed a chemical compound called free NOP, which I will focus on today. Free NOP blocks this arrow here, so we get less methane. And in this study, we saw some really interesting things. We saw that free NOP decreased methane around 25%. Really nice. But unexpectedly, we saw that cows started eating less when we fed them free NOP. And as a consequence of that, there was a tendency to a lower milk production. So these are things we don't want. And in order to try to go into the details about this, we took a lot of rumen samples through this rumen cannula here and analyzed for several things. We still don't have the full answer to why this is happening, but we're working on it. And to sum it all up, free NOP is a potent way to reduce methane, but we need to remember that the rumen is a very fine-tuned system developed through thousands of years. And methane is not just produced for fun. So when we want to manipulate with the rumen, we need to focus on harming the bad guys without harming the good guys in the rumen. And then as a final thing, I think we should stop blaming the cows as they're actually doing a quite good job digesting something that we cannot digest. Thank you.